we are over here in Minnesota picking up a load. Um, we dropped the trailer and you can see behind me we're getting a load of glass. Glass windows or something like that. Uh, some kind of glass load. And we dropped our regular trailer and we picked up a step deck. So that's what we're doing. Um, it's going to be parked. It's supposed to be a two stop but the second stop wasn't ready so it turns into a one stop. It's called Harrisonburg, Virginia. Minnesota, 1100 miles. So, anyways, I'm gonna pull my straps out. We're gonna throw the straps on this, and then once we get our straps, we got a tarp it. Now we're gonna take a 10 hour break and we're gonna roll in the morning. So, we are over here at a rest area. We're doing our first load check. It is Saturday morning, um, and we're heading to Virginia, like we said yesterday. It was a double stopper, like I said, it is not anymore. My tarp right here. A little flimsy. I want to put some straps in here. It's not bob balloon or anything. It's just it's just a little flimsy there. That's our rest of the tarp job. Looks pretty good on this glass. Kick my tires here. Everything's looking good. It's a weird load to tarp. Uh, the black tarp in the front's something to be desired. But. It'll work, I guess. Like I said, tarp job not too awful bad. Um, everything is looking good. We're gonna try to get down the road, get about nine hours. We're still running on recaps. Here's my black tarp. It's something to be desired. I tried to tarp it like a coil. That did not work out. I didn't have enough room on that upper deck to do that. The front's really bad. It's not ballooning or anything, so it's gonna work, but definitely something to be desired. kick tires make sure everything's good we're ready to roll that's my first load check and now we got about 120 or so miles to go we're gonna do a second load check now get some showers and keep on rolling we are in Crawfordsville Indiana and we have shut down for the day it's Saturday evening uh, we ran I don't even know eight and a half nine hours today uh, maybe a little bit more than that uh and we're running on recaps and we're gonna we was planned on delivering this load i had every intention to deliver this load on monday we ran a little trouble i took the wrong route and ended up losing like an hour and a half maybe even two hours off my 70. and now we're gonna be really close i don't think we're gonna be able to deliver on monday now because of that uh, we were gonna be close to begin with um i don't know so we ran 547 miles, I think it was, today. 74, 574. And we still got 539 miles to go tomorrow. I think it's gonna take us about eight or nine hours to do that. When that's done, we're only gonna have about two hours left on our 70. We pick up seven, that leaves us nine. And we're still gonna have two and a half, three hours to drive to get to the destination. And that's gonna drop us down under five hours, which isn't gonna give us enough time to get a reload I don't think it, it depends I don't know what I'm doing yet about the, the Monday thing I might try to deliver but it ain't looking too good for that um, other than that uh, we're over here at the pilot in Crawfordsville Indiana we're gonna try to start early I'm gonna try to be rolling out of here as early as possible 4 30 in the morning and get over to where we're planning on stopping I think we're gonna stop over in Hancock Maryland that's the plan anyways be over there around 12 1 o'clock and then from there we'll make a decision we'll see what kind of time we've got what kind of time we're picking up and see if it's feasible to try to make that delivery monday or it don't deliver till tuesday so if i do deliver monday it's just getting it in early getting it in early it's not it don't have to be delivered on monday i just wanted to get it in monday get it off the trailer so we could roll one down the road um we might end up just taking a 34 hour restart and delivering it first thing tuesday morning um we'll have to wait and see but that's where we're at uh we're gonna, I'm gonna get in here and get ready, get, get to bed because four o'clock comes early. We're out of here and get on down the road and uh, we'll see what happens. We have made it over here to Hancock, Maryland and there is a reefer running right over my shoulders. Hopefully it's not too loud. Um, so I think I'm gonna try to deliver this tomorrow. We're gonna pick up seven hours and 42 minutes. We have two hours and 28 minutes left, which should give us about 10 hours, give or take a couple minutes. 
for tomorrow. The next day is going to be the tough day. It's burning and picking up four hours and 52 minutes the next day. So I think we can, I think we're going to try to make this delivery tomorrow. Um, we're still two hours away. So two of them hours we're going to burn up. So whenever we get there, we're only going to have, what, about eight hours, seven and a half hours, which still gives us enough time to go get a reload. And then we'll deal with the four, basically five hours we're going to pick up the next day if and when we get reloaded. So we drove 542 miles over here to Hancock, uh, shutting down, calling it a day for now, and get ready to make this delivery in the morning unless something changes, which I don't see anything changing. Um, yeah, that's where we're at. So uh, get up in the morning. We're out of here around probably five. Just give me a little bit of a window to get down there and uh, make sure I'm there by, say, eight. If I'm going to be at 7, then we might leave at 4. I don't know what time I want to be there. i got to double check what time I can be there. But that's the plan. That's what we're going to do. And uh, we'll go from there.